Good Friday morning to you. Thanks so much for waking up early with us. I'm Susan Hendricks in today for Robin Mead. Certainly a lot to get to, including President mm. Flipping Versions, by the way, airs Tuesday on HGTV. So they gave you some options for front door colors, saying spruce it up a little. They did, and it made it uh, the ideas she had were a lot. It is a lot. A cleaner looking like it, it grabs your eye a lot more so it's exciting and it brings a lot more sunlight in right yeah. so it's all about increasing curb appeal all right mm -hmm. great stuff jen thanks well president trump has a warning now for south korea pay for its missile defense this friday so glad you're with us i'm susan Hendricks. in today for robin mead time for a check of what's happening with news in the fast lane lawmakers are expected to pass a short-term spending bill today that would keep the federal government running for another week they have until midnight to avoid a government shutdown. They will be using the extra time to work out a more long-term spending bill. And security is tight as Pope Francis arrives in Cairo today. His visit comes almost three weeks after deadly bombings and at two Christian churches. 44 people were killed there. He will meet with the head of Egypt's Coptic Christian Church, who also is called Pope. And there's a pretty cool stamp. It's a new one that mimics a total solar eclipse. The Forever stamp has a moon that changes from dark to light when you touch it. It has a special ink that is sensitive to body heat. The stamp commemorates the total solar eclipse that will happen in August. It goes on sale June 20th. President Trump is saying that South Korea should foot the bill for a billion dollar defense system being set up to protect it from North Korea. Welcome back. A new beer is taking on social issues, and it seems to be a hit. Money expert Jen is here with how Heineken got it right this time. Right, Jen? At least according to the... I like to hold the actual but... book. Maybe it's old Me school. Me too, yeah. and I actually love to go to the public library. This is so weird. I love the way books smell. Is that... That is not like weird. I totally I agree like the with way you. they smell. And I also, I like their font. I don't want to read it yeah. on the font. Yes. Nice thing. Yeah. They should come out with a perfume. New book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they book. Yeah. Well, Beyonce can't even order an appetizer. Is this true without it going viral? This is what everybody was talking about on Twitter for the last couple of days. Good morning, ladies. So there's a thing. I think it's about two minutes long, and it goes in on those first hundred days. There's also a joke about Ivanka Trump replacing Ruth Bader Ginsburg on the Supreme Court. Um, she's posing. It's a whole thing. Um, this episode will air on Sunday. How about this? At the uh, Tribeca Film Festival, you know, he's 73 years old, but um, he used the pretty filter also with the flowers around you, making your eyes look all sparkly. Obviously, you heard him do the helium voice. There was a young filmmaker there who was showing him how to do this. It had to be a millennial because I still cannot get Snapchat down. I just can't Me either. Do it, right? Either. It's, it's addicting, hard. though, once you get it down. It, that's so what I've heard. That's what I've it. heard. All right, Melissa, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I want to show you this, a helicopter clipping a house as it was crashing to the ground. Bad of one NFL player drafted last night. It is time to put his money where his mouth is. Andy Scholes yeah. is here, Melissa, as well. The New York Jets pick just won a big time bet, right, with family members? Yeah, he certainly did, Susan. Morning, guys. You know, just there. I teared up more than I thought I would oh. with, with you the telling the stories. Yeah. Yes, yeah. so many great stories out there, Andy. Thanks. Well, Reebok, we're talking about fashion. Just trolled Nordstrom's with its own $425 stained clothing. Melissa Knowles is here with What's Trending this morning. Is this real? Is it true? Well, you can be the currently sold out. So what do you think? Are they real? Uh, I, don't, I don't think so. <laughs> real but you sweaty. can wear one and say, look, I worked out. I swear I did. And yeah, wear well, someone else's you... sweat. <laughs> Wait, what was it like pit stains? It comes I don't through know. like... <laughs> I don't know. That's too detailed for me. Okay. Also, she accepted, and she says that she wants to see if she can drink the actors under the table. Should we be talking about this on morning television? Anyway, Johansson also invited Geraldine to the premiere of her upcoming film, Rough Night. One more trending story for you. Trump reportedly replacing Ruth Bader Ginsburg on the Supreme Court. Those writers don't hold back. No, not even a little bit. That's what's trending this morning. All right, Melissa, thank you. You're welcome. Well, after a PR nightmare, United Airlines has reached a settlement with the passenger who was dragged off a plane. And also, if unicorn frappuccinos designed this, a wedding dress that you can eat. <laughs> Melissa's here with more on that and what's trending. You're getting married soon. Uh, I am gonna... getting married soon. We have not set a date. <laughs> oh, wait, this is what I'm gonna wear, everybody. I'm gonna be able to sit in it. What does this one taste like? Andy was looking barbecue really close. Chocolate. Like, what am I gonna Ew, do? Ew, <laughs> barbecue chocolate. It's better than smog, right? <laughs>
<laughs> I, I kid. I joke. Hey, now. It was an emotional night. It really was for an NFL prospect who fulfilled the promise he made to his dying grandmother. It was so emotional. Andy Scholes has more on this. It was a promise yeah, guys, that he made. It, it? Absolutely. And this is arguably the greatest moment from the first round of the NFL draft after being selected by uh, oh, Simba. <laughs> This close to sounding like the movie. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. You're welcome. Hundreds of angry protesters surrounded a government building, then started attacking people, saying that being robbed at gunpoint last year ended up changing her life for the better. Melissa is here with more on this and what's trending. So she said it changed her in a good way. Oh, it definitely changed her. It changed her whole mindset on how she lives her life all over social media. She actually told Ellen, fake buddy Jean. Yes, 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 of course you do. Well, that had social media. Hey, also this, have you hit it hard? That was fun to watch and be such a good sport about all that. Well, for the dad of one NFL player drafted last night, it is time to put his money where his mouth is. Here's why, Andy's going to tell you. <laughs> the New York Jets pick just won a big bet and some bragging rights, Andy. Yeah, some family bragging rights, that's for sure. And we're talking about LSU safety. I like those shoes. Watson's shoes are dope. But like, what if you have you to like watch where you walk, trip on though, yourself, right? Or, yeah. And you're you, not tripping if and, you're the number one well, overall pick. True. True. Very true. But then you <laughs> injure someone on another team. It could be a big mess. All right, Andy, thank yeah. you. So how would you like to eat a five-course meal at the ultra-exclusive Taco Bell Test Kitchen? It's true. Hand it over to Michaela, who's out of Los Angeles. Michaela.